how was it after winning Miss Universe Philippines? <clears throat> it was like a complete 360. Like everybody, it, I'm just, I'm still the same Gazzini as I was, but it's like a lot of people know me more because you know how the Philippines is so involved with the three Bs, like basketball, yeah. uh, boxing, and beauty pageants. And yeah. so I instantly became you know, involved with the people around us. They'd call me Gazini Gazini in the mall or like take they pictures just with me, which is super you everywhere you go. Super overwhelming. And then I didn't know that we were we were gonna do a lot of video greetings, which was um massive, <laughs> massive yeah. video greetings. And so that shook me and I was like, wait, this is being Miss Universe and I never had time for my family anymore so but it was a good kind of productive for me because i was spending so much time with my family and friends here in cebu and then all of a sudden i had to stay in manila because work is there so it was yeah. a completely new experience for me and then traveling around the philippines which is also a plus for me because I love traveling so much, meeting new people, working with organizations that are, you know, charity works. And um, I just love the fact that I was super productive. And I could say that last year was the most monumental year of, of our lives, Cebuanos. It's been 35 years since um, uh, a girl or a lady, a woman won for Miss Universe in Binibining Filipino. So I'm super proud to carry on that legacy <laughs> super blessed super blessed oh that's amazing to hear um and so, like your advocacy is about the senior and elderly care right um did that stem from your grandparents like can you tell us more about that and, and why you chose that advocacy mm -hmm. well i was torn between uh carrying sustainable development or um, carrying my grandparents' uh, advocacy since. But I just thought about it thoroughly and I thought about it. Not a lot of people carry that advocacy. And yeah, so well, I said to myself, you know... I'm going to say it's so unique. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's one of a kind. Like, um, yeah. So not a lot of people really acknowledge the fact that there is stigma between aging and you know having the support the massive support of, of for the youth so well, i just wanted to be different and i i still remember when my my grandmother was still alive she she'd casually t tell us that um, you know, if we get older, uh, if there's no one, there's basically no one for her anymore. Just she'd just rather vanish, or that really stuck to my heart. And then so I just decided to just go for it, and everything fell into place. Not everyone understands it, but you know, I'm just happy that the Philippines is encouraged, or it's in our culture to really take care of our grandparents. So, you know, I was lucky. I was lucky to have my grandparents with me. 